Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the gerbil. I am the gerbil. What am I saying? This is, this is, I am the gerbil and this is my channel. Anyway, this is a short video. I am my channel. This is my channel. I got no idea what I'm saying. Anyway, this is a short video today. Um, I, I was playing my gerblet uh, account, 2.3, 2.4 million GP. And um, I have a horrifically imbalanced mismatch against a uh, an opponent that's 6.3 million GP. They have three GLs. I have zero. There's absolutely no chance whatsoever to win if I, um, you know, if my opponent wants to win, they're going to, and they already have. But eh, whatever. So um, they put this Sith Eternal squad down, Relic 8C, and it's kind of hard to see there because I wasn't recording when I started this, but you can see there's Relic 7 Crew, Relic 4 Darth Maul, Relic 2 Empire Trooper, Relic 6 Dooku. And um, I went in with my R7 Vader under an R5 Palp lead with Relic 5, Seven Sister, Ninth Sister, and Eighth Brother. Now, I've been a, a, a strong advocate of this team since before um, GI came to the game. I was blown away at the turn meter game that they have. See, every time they land those purge stacks and all the other debuffs, you know, they're gaining turn meter under Palpatine's lead. And, and I don't I don't really recall what the numbers are offhand. I could look it up, I'm not going to. But look what they're doing. Um, I looked into my opponent's Sith Eternal and he has plus 150 speed. So he's not slow. Um, and yet we just obliterated him with his full retinue. Now I know it wasn't the right you know, don't, don't, don't say yeah, but there was no Watt in there and there was no armor. I know this is Carbonite. <laughs> this is not Kyber League, right? This is the Carbonite level. Um, but look what we did. I mean, full banners against a Galactic Legend. Th this, I, I, I'm actually working on a video uh, idea. Give me time. Sorry, busy life about whether or not Inquisitors are actually worth farming early game, which I've done. Um, I've got all the Inquisitors at Relic 5 at 2.3, 2.4 million GP, and I'm now, I'm literally just biding my time waiting for Grand Inquisitor to come out, and in the process I'm going towards Executor with my, my um, uh, Bounty Hunters. But this Palpatine lead with Inquisitors is phenomenal in Conquest, uh, in in um, well in, in Grand Arena and in Territory Wars, um, e even though this Relic 8C gets to his ultimate, he doesn't get another turn. I mean, look, okay, so Eighth Brother took a turn, second turn. Let's count how many turns. Three. He's got full turn meter again. Four. Look, full turn meter again. Five. Full turn meter again. Six. Are you seeing a trend? Seven. <laughs> he has now taken seven consecutive turns before all seven sister got in there. And look, he's back to taking turns again. It's it's a really broken mechanic. And I think early game, if you were looking for an empire squad, this is a way to go. You also get two assault battles out of it, by the way, because you get the empire assault battle, which I forget what it's called. And you get the uh, Phonetical Devotion Inquisitor Assault Battle. So by going for one squad plus Palpatine, and honestly you should go Vader because it's Vader, you get two squads out of it. Or two Assault Battles. So two Assault Battles early game that you can get up to Tier 2, hands down, no problem. The, and when I say Tier 2, I mean the, the Challenge Tier 2. So you're getting those Relic materials. Challenge Tier 2, two Assault Battles, Conquest dominance, especially if you if you get like the the amplify agonies, right? You just you just AOE with fifth brother and win. Or if it's the zealous ambitions, AOE with fifth brother and you win. The ninth sister auto taunts to protect you as soon as any character on your team gets gets critically hit, just taunt. So you got that protection. You got the healing there with seventh sister, who also has the ability block right on her special. Uh, she perpetually assists. So like in the current conquest, there's so many like the defensive formations and things where every time somebody attacks out of turn, the whole team recovers health or protection or gains offense. There's so many conquest data discs that exp the whole team gains 
X whatever when someone attacks out of turn and she attacks out of turn every time an inquisitor attacks so every time fifth brother attacks she attacks ninth sister attacks she attacks right so you're getting those assistance data disc bonuses you're getting those zealous ambitions or those amplify agonies i mean this is such an amazing team in arena i dominate now i i actually don't put the time in it i got all the way up to to uh number one in arena which of course it's arena there's no crystals but again for younger newer accounts it's actually still quite worthwhile because you need those those arena currencies whatever they are to to buy um prestige and to buy characters like savage uh and uh you know at the bottom there's some gear not amazing gear but there's some very worthwhile gear so and then at some point you start converting that over into shard shop currency to get gear 12 gear so the higher you can get an arena it still has value not as much as it used to but anyway i guess my point is guys and girls if you are going inquisitors you don't know what to do with them till you get gi this is probably where you should put them and just because you see a relic 8 galactic legend on the other side of gac doesn't mean you don't have a chance now realistically can i beat this guy or girl if he or she wants to win no absolutely not but that's a story for another day thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed i'll catch you later bye bye